Listen. Nick? Fingers like bananas. Philip? Oh, yes, Charlotte Warren. Permit me. I've had some reactions to my playing, but never quite that. I saw you at the jail. I saw you. Oh, it's you. I say, I'm awfully sorry about that. Michael! Oh, it's so good to see you. However did you get in? I one picks up a few tricks in prison, you know, breaking and entering being one of them. <laughs> so, what have you got to say for yourself? Oh, well, I think I must have gotten the days mixed up. Was it the place? I'm awfully sorry, Michael. Can you ever forgive me? <gasps> now what do you say? Part of me says if you do that again, I'll heave you through the goddamn window. And then another part of me says that I deserve it. Every bit of it. Oh, no. Don't play that game with me. Not this time, Delicia. What do you mean? You've made a fool out of me for the last time. Oh, don't say that, Michael. You can do anything you like to me, anything. You can shake me again, though better not stand too close to the window. Or maybe... Maybe kiss me. Not a chance! Oh, why not? I'm crazy about you. You know that, but even I've got my limit and I've reached it. No more games. No more lies. No more Phil. No more Nick. It's me. Just me. Or that's it. I'll never see you again. You wouldn't. See this? The Queen Mary. Two tickets. Sales for New York tomorrow morning. I'm playing the Upper Deck Cocktail Bar with an as yet unannounced singer. Now tell me I wouldn't. But what about the cabaret? You and me together, we're the best in London. So we'll be the best in New York. Or not. Isn't there a decent drink in this hellhole? Yes. What would you like? That's me should be offering you a drink. After our unfortunate meeting yesterday, I'm definitely in your debt. How do you take your whiskey? He does seem to be a little agitated about something. Yes. Well, I'm afraid that might be my fault. Indeed. Ice pick! It's in the drawer! Somewhere! Ice in the fridge, dear! I want the pig for murder, not ice. Hmm. See? Such a hothead. He takes love so seriously. Is that a problem? Well, of course it's a problem. Michael Pardew. Uh, Pettigrew. Couldn't be a Pettigrew. At that time we had a formal introduction. Uh, certainly a problem when the girl doesn't pitch up for the proposal. Oh, Michael! Not a word from you, thank you. What do you think of this? Private boat on the Thames, last of the season strawberries, Dom Perignon champagne, everything. Strawberries, uh, and you didn't appear. I was scared. You were scared? How do you think a pianist without two shillings to rub together feels proposing to the most beautiful woman in the world? Dare I ask what happened? Well, after an hour and a half bobbing around on my own, I opened the champagne. One glass didn't seem enough, one thing led to another, then I had a bit of a brainwave as we floated past the Tower of London. Oh, dear. Decided the ring I had wasn't good enough for her. Well, when a fellow needs a diamond, what better place to get one than the Tower of London? Well, the rest is all a bit hazy, but there appears to have been an altercation with the yeoman of the guard. <gasps> you didn't. Though today's bread and water. But you know what? Prison certainly clears the head. Pure and simple, I want you to marry me. And it's a one-word conversation, Delicia. Don't you think that on such a momentous occasion, a little time should be allowed? Oh, stalling tactic. Is it because I'm not rich enough for her? Certainly not. Well, it's true. I'm wearing most of my worldly possessions. I could never offer this kind of blackmail. Oh. 
And who pays you for playing the piano, huh? You telling me you give Nick his money back after every show? No, and every damn shilling I take hurts me to the bone, which is why it's got to change, Delicia. Money or love, that's the question I'm asking, Dee. With you singing and me playing, we could knock the world flat. Yes or no, Delicia? Oh, you are a most uncommonly persuasive man, Mr. Pardew. But truly a lady should have a moment or two to consider the most important decision of her life. A moment? She's had a whole year. You did say you were in my debt. Damn it, I did too. Fair enough. Hey, here's the deal. I play for you today, Delicia. And for the rest of your life, if you'll marry me. Never again if you don't. See you later, Miss Pettigrew. Later? In my professional capacity. As for you, it's now or never. The ship sails tomorrow morning. <laughs>